For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. Some of you guys a bit of a review video on a tent from Outwell. So with me today, I've got out the Outwell Greenwood. So the Outwell Greenwood is basically in kind of Outwell Select collection. So it's basically all about having a fiberglass pole with a really good level of spec without necessarily being overly expensive. So the Greenwood comes in two different sizes, comes in a six and also a five. With me today, I've got the six. Now, both are exactly the same in terms of principles, just the sizing is a little bit different. So with the six, it runs about a 380 width, whereas the five is about a 320. It's worth saying actually that the depth of the living area is a little bit larger with the six than it is with the five as well, just to bear in mind. But everything else in terms of spec wise is exactly the same. So what we've really got is almost like a two, almost nearly three zone tent. So we've got sleeping, a very generous living area, and then kind of like this canopy section at the front, albeit very open. Now, for me, I definitely think this in terms of their select collection is, is more of a, a living orientated tent. There's one that sort of sits up from this, which is the Norwood, and that's almost got a completely free zoned enclosed, but the living area is a bit smaller with a bigger canopy area. So you kind of pick and choose what you want, certainly when it comes to that six berth range. The thing I do like about this is actually you've got features in there from Outwell that you don't necessarily get with other brands. So you don't have to sort of compromise on by going for say a pole rather than an air um, on losing those features as well. So what we've got here is a really nice um, kind of select fabric. It's about 4,000 mil high straight head, so really nice and waterproof and around about 70 denier in, in terms of the thread itself. So it's sort of lightweight, still fairly durable, but a very good waterproof rating. They've got their kind of power flex um, fiberglass poles built into it. It's like a coated fiberglass pole. It's got a bit more st strength, strength than your normal kind of fiberglass pole. Um, and also they make it kind of co color coordinated as well. So it's very easy to see what goes where. You've got essentially the three main poles are all the same. The back pole has got like a little black tab around it to indicate that obviously it's for that. And then you've got this brow pole on the front here to give you obviously rain protection, which is obviously a bit smaller in diameter as well as overall size. Runs about 12.7 12, 12, 12 mil over the flex frame. We've got things like tinted windows, really nice big windows to get great visibility in and out the tent. But when you're looking from outside in, you necessarily see more kind of shapes rather than physical detail. There's also toggle up curtains to get the ultimate map privacy as and when you want to. And beneath the window, we've got a low level ventilation point here to help circulate air and help reduce condensation. Either side of the uh, door, either side of the tent, I should say, we've got doors on either side, both with mesh. That's one thing I do like about this is you've got uh, loads of mesh, not only in low level ventilation points, but then mesh doors, not only on the side, but also on the front. So you've got a bug free barrier completely in that living area section. The other thing as well is that it's the level they go to with kind of the mesh. So not only have got a zip that goes down and round, it goes along the bottom. So you get a complete seal. And the same with the normal door, it zips on there. So it's a much better coverage. Certainly probably arguing other brands, um, they don't necessarily have that. You're relying on a bit of Valpro to hold it in place. So, you know, it's those sort of things that do add up to make the tent for what it is and obviously reflect in kind of the price point of it. Other things that Outwell offer, which no one else does, is their kind of strap system here. So what it is, is an ability that these Velcro parts go around the poles. So what you find is as you're physically, you, the guy points strand, you know, obviously brings the material a bit tauter. It brings material with the pole, to pull it together. So it basically reduces the impact on this seam. So you get a bit more longer lifespan out of it. But more importantly, you bring in both the structure out rather than one so they're sort of working in conjunction with one another so every single pole pretty much has that feature as well if you wanted to make it bigger and actually uh you know have that complete enclosed free zone you can buy an additional front awning so the front awning is enclosed comes with some extra poles and obviously makes the uh, tent a bit longer as well it ties onto these little points back here and then kind of goes out from there but we've got its own separate kind of awning review as well as a pitching video we've got with it We've got um, really nice kind of uh, webbing straps along the bottom and really easy to ex expand them. The joy of this means that when we come to feed the poles through and put them in, we can make sure we obviously get the, the pins in, in the bottom of the poles first and then tension them in to get the right amount of tension onto it. 
you can see myself pitch this model on my own in the best part of about 13, 14 minutes. Um, so you can check out our own Atwell's pitching and packing video we've got on that. So that's worth a watch. I do like the fact that with a li larger living area, you've got a rain safe canopy door directly through the front. And this door in fact sort of rolls um, in kind of sort of halfway open or fully open as you see. The brow pole gives it also a bit more height as well. So you can come and go as you please. And again, the testament's a bit more details. They've got little Velcro tabs to kind of retain the guide points when you're not necessarily using them. What we'll do, let's swing the camera around a little bit and probably get a bit more of a sort of nailed on sort of shots of it and we'll have a bit more of a feel for what a tent has to offer. So can as we kind of swing ourselves round. So the first thing we can probably see is like I said, that canopy door itself. So we've got enough sort of shelter underneath here. Admittedly there's, in terms of the overall height, straight in the middle is perfectly fine. When we get to the corners, it's a little bit tight. We've got to allow for our furniture a little bit. The front door here is really nice big, again, tinted windows in the front, and there's privacy curtains behind them. The door itself unzips like so. And on the back here, you can see that's your curtains there, which actually toggle up around kind of the kind of around the shape so you can really kind of get a, the ultimate amount of coverage. So that can easily roll back quite nice and neatly. So you've got a little toggle points here to kind of keep it at bay. So it means that essentially you'd have this kind of scenario where you have uh, half the door open, half the door closed, and behind the whole door, we've got a full mesh door located there. So what in essence we can actually do is actually allow our, say, our bug barrier against everything coming in. There's a second zip puller on the front door as well. So if you wanted to create a little bit of airflow without having to worry about kind of the critters coming in, you can do like that, fold that over. So you've got your privacy down low, but you've still got airflow coming into the tent itself. Again, which is a really nice little feature. When you don't want to use the door at all, you can open it up fully and then this whole door section will actually roll away to the side it's like if you've got a second pair of hands but you can do it on your own if need be And you've got kind of oversized uh, kind of guide points. So just a little runner as well to keep it all nice and neatly at bay. And as you can see now, we've opened it up. So we've got that whole kind of uh, bug free barrier, allow air throw in. And if the weather does turn, we've got a bit of canopy so the drain's not going to suddenly come driving in. We can use this obviously and open it as a normal kind of door anyway. With the mesh door, it's kind of all or nothing. You know, it's no sort of halfway points. But the thing I do like is it zips along the bottom. Again, so it's really nice kind of thorough feel to it. And again, you can toggle it back, back in place when you want to. You can always peg this down a little bit so you have got a bit more trip-free access into the actual tent itself. But now we're in here, you can probably appreciate that sort of sheer living size. Double bayed, really nice and wide. Uh, and also there's tons of room in here for tables and chairs. So it definitely is gonna suit more kind of a family uh, of sort of six to four. For me, I see this person being more of, say, a comfy four with a bedroom scenario at the back, sort of two and a two with very generous bedrooms for, for two people as such. The bedroom itself, like I said, on the six, we've got it being a uh, 180 and 180. When you go down to the five, it's 180, 120. Um, so your master bedroom is always going to probably be for your adults. Um, and in this scenario here, it's the bedroom set out to the right. The reason why it's this particular bedroom is because it's got uh, Outwell's kind of quick and quiet door. This is a magnetic door that can close behind you so you can kind of come and go as you please in the middle of the night and not have to use zips and essentially wake up the kids. So it's quite a nice little clever feature. Something they've done for a little while now, but works just like so. So it means you can kind of, again, come and go as you please quite happily. The thing I do like about this is obviously is the tension deeds they put. So we've got Big mesh panels in the front of the bedrooms to help with airflow as well. So it means it's a lot more usable space and you can keep, you know, again, circulation is going to keep going on about it really key. 
If you don't want to use kind of magnetic, uh, kind of quick and quiet door, you can actually zip this up and then open the door and still use it in a conventional manner. And you've got kind of ties located back here to kind of keep it at bay. The material in here is a slightly darker material as well to hopefully reduce early morning light. And the divider between the two sections actually is a physical zipped down the sides, which is something you don't really see often in pole tents. So again, make a nice point of difference. Immediately along the bottom, it's not necessarily, but that gives you a little bit of play with things like air beds. A really big vent is located at the back here, and you've got almost the ability to kind of open up the vent a little bit, and it mirrors a vent on the outside. That means you've got visibility out to the back of the tent to spot where the kids are, or you can just maximize yourself from that airflow. Pockets of storage in the side of the bedrooms on each side as well, and you've also got pockets in the front here. Oddly enough, for some reason, the cable entry point is on the kids' bedroom, not necessarily in the master bedroom, but I don't know why, if that's for sure. Another sort of point you can actually do is you can buy some uh, awning tidy kits, so essentially it's like a storage pocket system that hangs from these two points and come directly down. Another feature to mention, in fact, is uh, Outwell's kind of hook track system, so it's the ability to have a hanging point, like for lanterns and stuff like that, located on this kind of like a beading kind of style. And what I do like is actually you've got in two positions, one here and then one here as well. The joys of this means that you can have a lantern point hanging here, additional clips like sort of clothesline pegs, you can just kind of nip them on, bring yourself down to your kind of cable entry point. On this particular model, the cable entry point is just on down the right hand side here. There's a little zip in and out so you can have your main hookup to come inside without having to leave the door open both times. Big mesh doors on either side as we talked about. And then the next step forward, we've got two big crystal clear windows with lower level vents. The windows itself can be been put up into a half point uh, via the toggle point here, where you can go fully up to the top. So again, you can choose your level of kind of privacy. Come on, let's bring the camera in actually. and will probably get a bit better of a grasp for certainly the uh, inside of it. This model almost dates back for quite a number of years and before that it's designed so if you've been along round enough you probably remember the white cove it was very very similar to this so again really generous size in terms of the living area you can see that kind of canopy section is just enough to kind of give you enough coverage on that front door and you've got that sort of uh, hook track system located there um, quite nice and neatly for when you um, want to hang your lantern and stuff crystal clear windows low level ventilation points and then obviously two big mesh doors on either side and we've got those sort of darker bedrooms located there with the back fence, the storage pockets, cable entry, pockets on the front and then we've got obviously the little toggle points around the actual tent as well which works really nicely and again zips along right along the bottom. As we kind of come out the tent have a little quick wander around again it sees how well it sits Really nice. I think I quite like the kind of green colour as well. I think it looks quite smart. Uh, and again, I think the sort of lower slope at the back does make it look really nice and sort of, well, streamlined, shall we say. Big vent at the back as well to help can increase airflow. Uh, and if you want to, you can just zip it back down quite nice and neatly. Feign that it can prong out so you can still have ventilation while having that kind of rain coverage. And the back of the bedroom is sort of sculptured a bit as well. So you see how it's pulled out a bit higher up. It's to basically allow you to have sort of air beds in there without having to worry about the depth too much. Again, we've got the big mesh window, so mesh door, and a little rail underneath it. So all in all, I think it's a really nice tent. Again, something you don't really see too often is the level of spec in kind of the pole versions, which is quite refreshing. So something I definitely would think is a really nice little option, something a bit different. And it's the same with Outwell, it's all about the details, and that's one thing you can really see even in what essentially is a very price orientated product. But for more information, feel free to let us know via the link below this video. Um, there's a, it will take you through to, straight through our website. We've got more information on the pack sizes, pack weights, four dimensions, and obviously the prices and the accessories you can buy for uh, the Greenwood as well. So it's always worth a little look on that. We'd love to always hear from you as well. So feel free to comment in the box below uh, or contact us directly via our email. But overall, that is kind of our little video review on the Atwell Greenwood. Obviously it comes in the five and the six, but thank you for watching. Any more questions, feel free to let us know. Hopefully we see you again soon.